Welcome to part 2 of Easy HTML in Canvas, where we look at how to create columns using diff tags in the Canvas HTML editor. This knowledge prepares you for part 3 of this series where you learn how to modify tabbed pages with columns. In Easy HTML part 1, we looked at the 7 basic tags that hold course content in Canvas, the H tag, the P tag, the three list tags for ordered lists, unordered lists, and list items, the image tag and the iframe tag. To put this tagged content into columns, we need one more tag, the diff tag, to hold them together. Diff tags are the building blocks of HTML pages. On any web page, diff tags divide the page into sections that act as containers for tagged content. Diff tags are also used as containers to hold smaller containers of styled content. Creating a column container with a diff tag is simple. Add class equals to the opening tag and describe what it equals. In this case, class equals call for columns and then we state how wide the column should be. But before you can do that, you must understand the invisible HTML grid behind any web page. To keep everything lined up on screen, each HTML page is divided into 12 grid columns by default. Display columns on screen are composed of these 12 grid columns. Because each page is 12 grid columns wide, two equal display columns require two diff containers, each six grid columns wide. To put this in the diff tag, we simply write class equals column XS6. XS stands for extra small to display well on small screens. Six refers to grid columns, and two of these column containers use a total of 12 grid columns. For two unequal display columns, we can use any combination of two numbers that add up to 12, such as 5, 7, or 4, 8. Finally, when the columns are ready, they need a bigger container to hold them. To do that, we use the diff tag again, but this tag gets class equals grid row. This makes rows on the grid, so that our columns line up. Put the closing tag at the bottom after the columns, and that's all there is to it. Now we're ready to go to Canvas and make some columns. Here in the Canvas Rich Content Editor, the page is visually scattered and requires scrolling to get the full picture less than ideal for learning. This is easy to fix with columns that display the lists and video side by side, bringing the content onto a single screen in clear blocks. We'll do this with the diff tag in the HTML editor. In the HTML editor, we see our headings between H tags and the paragraph, lists and video between P tags. I want the lists and the video side by side in columns, so I'll make a diff container to hold this content. In the opening tag, I declare that class equals grid row. The bottom of this container is under the video, so that's where the closing tag goes. Now, I'm ready to wrap the lists and video in their own column diff tags inside this container. For the lists, just above the opening list tag, I put the opening diff tag. With class equals column, xs6. And the closing diff tag goes just below the final list tag. Then, wrap the video p tags the same way. And I'm done. Select save, and we can see the result. This looks good. The page is visually balanced, our lists and video are displayed side by side in two equal columns, and everything fits nicely on a single screen, with each section of content in clear blocks. This enhances readability, accessibility, and comprehension. The ideal in online learning. And that's all it takes to create columns for your own course content in Canvas. So, let's summarize what we covered in this video. Diff tags create containers for course content. Each HTML page follows a 12 column grid. Display columns are composed of grid columns. Columns are made by adding class equals call to an opening diff tag. Multiple columns must total 12 grid columns. Multiple column diffs go inside a single grid row diff. 
With this knowledge in hand, you're ready for part 3 of this series where you learn how to create and modify tabbed pages in the Canvas HTML editor. We'll see you there.